This is Shay Sweetland, and I'm here on my farm in Winterport, Maine. We have Dory here, who is teaching her children some manners. These are her quadruplet kids. She gave birth to these guys on June 5th, and they have added a lot of uh, happiness and, and excitement to the farm since they've arrived. Over here, we have Morena who was not bred this year, but who was bred last year and gave birth to a beautiful girl named Drusilla, who you'll meet in a moment. We also have Webster and Jeremy here. These guys were born to a doe named Violet in February. I rescued Violet from the slaughterhouse in October, not knowing that she was bred and also not knowing that she most likely had cancer. And unfortunately, she did pass away not long after giving birth to these beautiful boys but um, she had a really good life while she was here, which was the best that I could offer her, given her situation. So this is our farm. We have one little goat shed here, and then some oversized dog houses for them to have as shelter. We are hoping to upgrade to a small barn before the end of the summer. They also have a few patches of lush grass, which they mostly ignore. They are not sheep, so they don't tend to graze. They prefer to walk on grass and eat other things. Oh, looks like it's mealtime over at poor Dory. These guys are getting ready to be weaned, so they're a little bit big to be doing this, but she still lets them because she's such an incredible mom. And in addition to their green areas, they also have over an acre of fenced-in wooded area. And this is really a goat's heaven because they like to peel bark off of trees and pull needles off of, of uh, pine trees and pick up dead leaves. All of that stuff just makes for a wonderful time as far as they are concerned. Here is Drusilla. She was born here last year. She is Marina's daughter. One of the most beautiful goats I've ever seen. Look at that gorgeous face. And then these are her boys, twin boys. This is Leonard and here is Boyd. And they are both very friendly um, because they have had to unfortunately be bottle raised. It's not something that I like to do, but I will do when I need to. Now these guys are separate from the rest of the herd because of Leonard. Um, he has what we're suspecting is an abnormality in his spine that causes him to get a pinched nerve every now and then. Um, and we're trying to give him some time to see if he will outgrow it or if it will continue to be a problem for him. Both boys are peeing. That's why they're standing so beautifully still for me right now. Um, so these guys are another example of compassionate farming. In, another, in a traditional goat herd, while Boyd would be allowed to hang out um, with the rest of the herd and his mom, uh, Leonard would have been euthanized by now. Uh, there just is not enough time or energy or money to go into um, maintaining a completely separate enclosure for this tiny little family and give Leonard the time he needs to see if he can outgrow whatever is going on with him. I have been consulting veterinarians all over the country to see if anybody has recommendations on what to do for treatment for him um, and am continuing to follow uh, recommendations as needed <laughs> and give him the time that he needs to determine what's going to go on with him. So um, <laughs> these guys are adorably cute and uh, just over two weeks old and hopefully will become um, wonderful members of our herd as soon as Leonard outgrows whatever it is that's going on with his spine. Now this is a compassionate farm. That means that um, the goat moms get to raise their goat kids themselves, if at all possible. The kids are not taken away from the moms. They also um, are allowed to drink as much milk as they need while they grow. I do milk the goats after the kids are a certain age, but I do that um, only after the kids have eaten, so I take the leftover milk. I don't take milk away from the kids, which many traditional farmers do. What they do is they milk the goats and then they um, bottle raise the kids so they can control exactly how much the kids get and how much they get. So this is our compassionate farm. And when you support our farm, either through um, purchasing our products, which are made with milk from these beautiful girls, or by uh, contributing to our fundraising campaign, you are supporting 
this lifestyle for these goats. These guys do not live in concrete buildings. They do not have tiny little spaces where they're all closed in together. They have space to roam pretty much as separated from each other as they want or as close together as they want. Um, this summer we are hoping to have a small barn uh, set up so that I have somewhere um, that I can enclose them during the really harsh winter storms that happen here in Maine. Um, I also hope to have a small workshop so that I'll be able to um, consolidate my soap and lotion making business um, into a nice streamlined process. So please consider either purchasing our products, which are fantastic for your skin, or contributing to our fundraising campaign so that you can support a wonderful way of life for these goats and more. The, the more space I have, the more I'm able to, the more goats I'm able to save. So thank you very much.